Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. And today we have an amazing, amazing crew, a full house. We have a very nice, large team of camera crew, first of all. I'd like to acknowledge Emma Noble on camera, Andrew Saltis, J.D. Amato, and Adina Marmelstein. In the control room, in the back, we have Ivanhoe Gutbai, Kavai Anna Kalea, Joshua Garcia, and Frederica. Thank you so much for helping make this episode happen today. To the entire team, uh, Rich and Drew are actually supervising this episode today. Thank you so much. On behalf of Josie and Heard to my extreme right, and Darwin Reyna and Sarah Torres, we'd all like to say thanks very much for helping us get started today. If we can get the cameras on, if we can get the monitors on, Rich, that would be great so we can see ourselves on the screen. Monitor only works sometimes, sorry. Okay, no problem. Are we, are we on air right now? Okay. Um, for our viewers out there, thank you. For our viewers out there, we just want to remind you that Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. That's 1.30 in the afternoon Eastern Time. That's New York Time. We have an excellent support system for you. Besides this yo daily yoga health show, we also have a website, www.yogaexpress.com. We live in North America. We do not know how to spell. That's Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com. We also have an interactive blog, so feel free to visit our website and our blog if you'd like to offer your opinions We'd be happy to share it with our other viewers on air right here. If you want to stretch with us, we have a few goodies for you. We have my third title, Yoga Secret. Yoga Secrets, we have, which has eight plus two ailment-specific cards inside. We have a postcard to share with you. Postcard with 48 simple ailment-specific stretches that target all major muscle groups, glands, and organs in the body in under 20 minutes. And we have a fridge magnet with the same sequence, 48 plus sequence. So you have no excuses not to stretch. Besides these, we'll also share a sun salutation poster with you. Now I'm gonna have our participants say a few more words about themselves and about what they've been up to before we start stretching with you. All these faces, all three faces here are very familiar to our viewers out there. <laughs> so you should feel very comfortable stretching with us. Sarah Torres, Sarah. I noticed you look very different today. You look great. I like the color yeah. of your Thanks. hair, too. Yeah. It's going to take some getting used to for me personally. But, um, yeah, I did a hair fashion show over this past weekend. Right. Um, it was um, a Claro hair lightening event. And they had different hairstylists from, I would say, New York. But they probably were from any, everywhere because I got a card right. from um, somebody from Atlanta. So a lot of these things are good for networking in that way. Um, they, you know, it was a show, so on stage they had them talk about what um, what they did, introduce a, a different touch to a, a common style. Right. And um, each of the models had a chance to, you know, pose and, and do what we had to do. And then afterwards, there was like a small shoot afterwards. It was right. pretty cool. Um, now, did you get fun. to take any products home? Yeah, they offered um, a, a kit. I actually gave it away because it's it's like hair dyeing products. Right. I don't know how to use that. So I'm like, I'll go bold. <laughs> so I don't know That'd why they would, they would give that. And, um, you know, it's like this, you know, everything you do leads to something else. Yes. So there's yes. other networking things that Everything that is a stepping stone. And that's a very nice approach to real life as well. Use every experience as a stepping stone to the next one. That's right. Absolutely. Right. I'm so glad you came back on this show, Sarah. I know that you have three little ones. Yeah, the first yeah. one is seven? Seven, five, yes, five, and um, Noelle, she's 14 months. You did promise to bring them sometime. Yeah, so right here in maybe we'll have like a kitty special, right? It'll be nice, or you can have a mother and child or something. I, oh, okay. It doesn't have to, we don't all have little ones to bring here, but. Oh, I have two, somebody could borrow one. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd be happy to do that. <laughs> it's a great idea. And you're right. also a writer, Sarah, correct? Yes, I'm also can't a wait, writer. We cannot wait for your stories. I know you have 
a collection of short stories? Yeah, that's in the genres? process um, currently. It's a, a collection of poems and short stories. Wonderful. It's, um, it's called Something for Everyone, and that's going to come out. That'll be the first one to be published. We're looking forward to it. Thanks. Well, welcome back to the show. We have Josiane Hurd to our extreme right. Josiane? You have been away for quite some time. I know you've been directing this show for mm -hmm. us for some time. I'm glad to be Pinch back. Pinch hitting for us. Welcome back. I love to stretch, as you know. I know, but I know. I've been doing it at home, too. That's good. And you do have cats as well, so cat is your favorite stretch, yes. right? And I've been practicing my back bend. My, my, my back bend. Right. You sit a lot lot of times on the computer, so you I need to... I always sit my leg cross, and usually one over here and one over right. there, and I keep on and on like this, because <laughs> it's yeah. just my back. It, it does. It's yes. good for your back when you sit up. Viewers at home, please remember this show is about your body. It's just you. You just have to learn to retrain neglected muscles. That's what we help you do. We do not touch on the spiritual aspect. We believe that the spiritual side of yoga is a very private uh, experience, and we believe that if you take care of your body, the spiritual side happens. You go into the spiritual realm when your body is ready, when your body is fit and healthy. So Josiane has been retraining her muscle. She sits in Padmasana, cross-legged yes. position all the time. And you are on the computer a lot as well. Yes, a lot. Josiane, I think our viewers may have forgotten all the crazy things that you've been up to before. So do you want to remind them about all the other things that <laughs> you do? my martial arts. And oh, the... yes. I, I remember it, but I think viewers haven't seen you in a while, right? Yes. I should go back to practice. I all the those, all the energy arts. Yes. And Taekwondo, sailing, Aikido, and, uh, sailing, martial yeah, arts. Ate bridge. That's, that's not to work. Boxing. Yes. You practice your boxing on Danny? I did. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show, Josie. And it's always a pleasure you, to have you back. Darwin Rayner. What's that? I said we're going to be scared of her. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I noticed you're sitting on this side. Yes. <laughs> Darwin Rayner, welcome back Hello. to the show. Bye. I hope Thank your mother's you watching today. Me. Yeah, she's watching, of course. She Good. like it and she say, I'm doing progress. Would you like to say hello to your mom? Yes, of course. Hello, mom. <laughs> I love you. Tell me, oh, that's nice. Tell me your mom's name again. Uh, Ruby. Does she speak English? Yeah, she used to live in Miami for 15 years. How do you say I love you in Spanish? Uh, te quiero. Te quiero. Ruby, te quiero. Te we quiero. all te quiero. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Manu. Anything else you want to add to our show? Um, well, Banu, I was in a movie today. Uh, I love, uh, love movies. You had a role in the movie? A little one, yeah. Nice. I was a Mexican. Okay. Mexican in, okay. The, in the movie, yeah. Playing football. Are you allowed to talk about it? Do you want yeah, to tell yeah. us a little more? It's going to be in December anyways. Oh, it's an independent movie, and I was okay. shooting the whole since uh, 7 o'clock until 5, more or less. Was it yeah. fun? Yeah, seven a long in the day. Yeah, seven in the morning. Oh, it is a long day. Yeah, so long you, you day. deserve this stretch today. You're yes, gonna sleep absolutely. Well. You're going to sleep very well. Yeah. <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, welcome back to the show, Darwin. Thank I hope you, you enjoy Thank stretching. You for me. It's always a pleasure. Today's episode is going to focus on the sun salutation with a Yoga Express twist. In case you've been watching us in the last year that we've been around, Josie, and how long have we been? Since last June. Yoga Express has been airing since last June. If you've been watching us. A year and a half. Year and a half? June. Oh, well, my math is not that bad, but I think about, yeah, year and a quarter. Last year. July. Last year. Long yeah, road. it's quite a long time, but viewers might remember that in the sun salutation, we have eight postures. And all these eight postures, it's like a fluid dance motion. You can complete these eight postures in 30 seconds flat. So when you do two sun salutations, one on either side, and we'll show you what we mean when we talk about either side, you're actually energizing all those neglected glands and organs in your body. We do have a fly. OK, I feel safe. Josiane, you said a bee was actually good for us, right? Yes. Unfortunately, it's just a fly. So we're going to let the fly fly away on its own. Uh, we have the only muscle group that the sun salutation did not address were the obliques on the sides of our waist. So we decided to add what we like to call a yoga express twist. We included Parsvakona Namaskara. Let's show you what we mean. We're going to stand up so our camera folks know that we are all... Unfortunately, our monitor is not working today. So in case you feel blindsided, let's watch each other and do the best we can. We'll talk our viewers through these postures. Let's tiger ourselves. Uh, Sarah, do you want to come forward? And Josiane, why don't you come forward? Darwin and I will go back. Heels together, toes slightly apart. 
palms in front of your chest. Now remember, the thumbs are facing your chest. So your thumbs are towards your chest, so you're trying to internalize your experience. Elbows are raised. You could try, close your eyes and try and flop your elbows and see how your mind starts wandering. The reason you keep your elbows up is to help you stay in the moment. So stay alert, stay focused, and stay with us, stretch with us. This is Namaskar Asan. Inhale, take your arms overhead. Hasta Uttana. Hasta is hands, Uttana is raised literally, it's arms or hands raised. Exhale, fold from the hip. Keep your back nice and straight. Pada Hasta. If your Pada is feet, Hasta is hands. If your hands do not touch your toes today, that's perfectly okay. Allow your body to make its own adaptations. Very good, Darwin. What you want to do is to make sure you have, you make contact with some part of your body. So if your fingers do not touch your toes, if you don't have your uh, palms all the way down the floor, that's fine. If you don't touch your toes, that's okay. Place your palms at the ankles, the shin. Just avoid your knees. Father has the hands to feet. Place your palms about 18 inches in front of your feet. Take the left foot back and then the right foot back. I'm gonna to have to come forward instead of taking my feet back because we have the foam block in the back. Now press your heels down all the way. Keep exhaling, exhale through the belly. This posture is known as Adho Mukha Svanasana in North America. Adho is downward or down. Mukha is face or facing. Shwana is dog, downward facing dog. The school that I trained to be a yoga teacher, we used to call this Parvat Asan. Parvat is mountain. Now, inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. Ashwa Sanchala. Ashwini is horse. Place your right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the right foot and ease off just a little bit. Ashwini is horse. This partial literally translates to equestrian. Exhale and dip your hip. So see if you can bring your pelvis really close to the floor. That's wonderful, Sarah. Make your adaptations. If you're very tall, you want to bring your left foot further. Wiggle your left foot forward so you could dip a little closer to the mat. You don't want to go too far forward, Sarah. Oh, as long as you can come down comfortably and make sure you uncurl your toes. Very nice. Keep exhaling. Left knee is up. Right arm goes up. Inhale. Exhale. Dip the left, right elbow over the left knee. This is what we like to call the yoga express twist. Place your left palm on top of the right and extend your left elbow up. So hold your left elbow up, press your palms together, look up at the raised elbow and hold. When we say hold, it's always hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale, let's come out of that. Parsva Kona Namaskara. Parsva is intense, Kona is corner, Namaskara is prayer, intense prayer twist. Curl your toes in the right foot, lift your right knee off of the floor, take the left foot to meet the right in the back. Danda Asan. Danda is plank. Now you want to make sure that your buttocks are not too low, you could hurt your back. You don't want to take your butt all the way up because you don't get your stretch that way and you don't strengthen your low back. Engage your low back muscles, make sure your elbows are close together, as close as you can. Very gently lower the knees, chest, and chin. Exhale, as you go down, inhale, come up into cobra. Exhale, and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra. Press with your palms. Now let's hold this position for just a moment. We will keep our palms down for now. What we want to show our viewers is the posture we exhale into is called Ashtanga Namaskara, Ashta Anga. Ashta is eight. Anga is limbs, the eight limbs, chin, chest, knees, hands, and your feet that make contact with the floor. <clears throat> now, to test if you're using your low back muscles, forehead to the ground, let's inhale, come up just a little bit. Engage your low back muscles, lift your palms off of the floor, press, press the mat with the top of your feet. <laughs> Place your hands back on the mat, curl your toes in, forehead to the ground, Inhale, bring your buttocks all the way up into mountain. Exhale. Let's inhale and complete the round. Bring the right foot between the hands and then the left foot 
back into Padahasta. Right foot, and then the left. Place your palms together. Inhale. I'm going to stagger myself. Come up with a nice straight back. Hasta Uttana. Open your eyes. Exhale and relax into Namaskarasana. Let's bring our palms down beside our hips for the moment. I'm not sure, did you notice, did any of us bring the arms all the way out to the side? I usually, I used to do it. And I think I'm just a little bit pampered that way because we had a lot of space in the studio. But just know that if you bring your palms down the center, you're actually helping internalize the experience. It is a great way to enhance your process towards meditation. It's very meditative, very quietening. You bring your arms out all the way, it's wonderful for the body. So bringing your palms down the center is good for the mind. Bring your arms out, you still get this wonderful chest opening, you get a beautiful stretch, you get a strengthening of the trapezius. So either way, you're getting a good workout. Let's get into the other side. Now we need to stretch the other side as well. So we're gonna move this. Heels are together, toes slightly apart. We're gonna stagger ourselves. Darwin and I will come back. <coughs> Inhale the arms up. Hasta Uttana. We may move just a little faster this time. Exhale, fold from the hip. Pada Hasta. Palms on the floor, 16 to 18 inches in front of your feet. Take the right foot back this time and then the left. And then press your heels down. Adho Mukha Shonasana. Keep exhaling through the belly. Dip your head between your biceps. Inhale, bring your right foot between your hands. Right foot between the hands, place the left knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the left foot. Let's inhale and ease off just a little bit. Ashwa Sanchala Equestrian. Right knee is up, left arm goes up. Inhale, exhale, dip your left elbow over your right knee. Place the right palm on top of the left and raise the right elbow. Look up at the raised elbow. This posture does involve a little bit of balance because we are on one knee. One foot is down, but on the other leg where our knee is down. So hold it. Parsva Kona Namaskara, intense prayer twist. Inhale, let's come out of that. Place both palms beside the right foot. Curl your toes in and the left foot. Take your left knee off of the floor. Take the right foot to meet the left. In Danda Asana, Danda or plank, gently knees, chest and chin to the floor. Exhale, dip your chest, dip your torso to the floor. Inhale, come up in cobra. Exhale and dip. Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhale, uncurl your toes and let's come up into bhujang. Keep your elbows close to you and then engage your low back muscles. Take your palms off of the floor. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground. Curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Keep exhaling through the belly. When I first started uh, practicing yoga, when I first started stretching in the classroom, my teacher would say, this is a wonderful rest posture. And I said, yeah, right, it hurts. But you know, after a while, it actually does feel wonderful. Now let's inhale, bring the left foot between the hands and then the right. The right, the right foot. Inhale, right what's that? Foot. The right foot. This time we're coming back oh. with the left foot. The left foot. <laughs> Thank you, Josiane. We did two in one last time. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. Josiane is my minder. She always reminds me, and then the right. But I didn't actually forget, but thank you. <laughs> Inhale, palms together. Keep your back nice and straight. But actually, you did bring something to mind. Exhale and release. I'm going to bring my palms out all the way and relax. Josiane, but it's good that you mentioned it because I need our viewers also to understand that Yoga is all about balance. So you want to make sure if you stretch one side, you want to stretch the other side as well. And sometimes I do forget and you remind me because if we don't stretch both sides, you're going to feel, you know, you're not going to, something is going to be amiss. You you're going to know. Balance. Exactly. You literally off. do feel that. You'll feel a little off. Actually, it happened when I was in a classroom once. The teacher forgot. You know, everyone forgets once in a while. She forgot to ask us to stretch on the other side. I couldn't focus for the rest of the class. So I kept falling out. So it happens because your mind balance, is so, yes. yeah, your mind is your telling balance, you that you need that. So I went home, stretched the other side, and I felt a little better. But we all have our little quirks. 
All right. It's just like exercise, though. They it is. They used to do 10 jumping jacks and then jogging. And you go for that jog without those jumping jacks. And then you need all it's those sore. stretches as well. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And it doesn't matter if you're a gym, if you're a person who works out at the gym, whether you're a runner. I know you I work mean, out at the gym, you use bells at home. Yeah. Uh, I know Josian does, uh, whatever it is, I know you do physical stretching as well at home and outside as well. So, <laughs> well, that's true. And you get all your aggression out on hopefully no one in the studio. But uh, just remember, whatever other activities you have, whatever method of uh, exercise you already have, just work us into your schedule. You don't have to just practice stretching all the time. One more round of sun salutation, and then we're going to get some feedback from all of us. Mm -hmm. How are we doing for time? Palms together, elbows raised, heels close together, toes slightly apart. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. Hastautana. Exhale, fold from the hip. Six minutes. Thanks. <laughs> Palms 16 to 18 inches in front of your feet. Take the left foot back, and then the right. Exhale, press your heels down all the way, dip your head between your biceps, and hold. Now inhale, bring your left foot between the hands. Place the right knee on the floor. Thank you. Uncurl your toes on the right foot. And let's ease off just a little bit. Ashva Sanchala. Left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip the right elbow over the left. Place your left palm on top of the right and raise the left elbow. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. You should feel, and Sarah, if you don't mind, I'm going to point out, you should feel a wonderful stretch of your obliques on the right side and a beautiful compression of the obliques on the left side. Inhale, let's ease off. Place both palms beside your left foot. Curl your toes in in the right foot. Lift your right knee off the floor. Take the left foot back. <coughs> hold it, Dandasan. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin to the floor. <sighs> Inhale, glide out into Cobra. Ashtanga Namaskara to Cobra. Press with your palms. Engage your low back. Take your palms off of the floor. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground. Curl your toes in. Inhale, let's come up all the way. Into Parvat or Mountain. This time we're going to bring the right foot between the hands. I think Josie and I caught on to what you were trying to say. All right, we'll complete it this time. <laughs> bring your right foot between the hands. Place your left knee on the floor. In the last uh, sequence, mm -hmm. you wanted to say we didn't do the twist on this side. OK, mm -hmm. please feel free to do the other side after we're done with today's episode. Exhale, dip your hip. Right knee is up. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left. Uncurl your toes, darling. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> That's Thank good, you. but it's good. It's good that we uh, notice. It's good that Darwin realized he had his toes curled in because you need to know the difference. It's you could keep right? your toes. It, it's just more pressure on your knees. That's all. As we grow older, the synovial fluid in your knees uh, dries up and it hurts to have your toes curled in because there's more pressure on the knee. So you want to make sure that you're comfortable. Inhale. Let's come out of that. Place both palms beside the right foot. Curl your toes in in the left foot. Take your left knee off the floor. Take the right foot to meet the left. <coughs> and we're going to come up all the way into mountain this time. Inhale. Left foot and then the right between the hands. And let's come all the way up. Left foot and then the right. Place both palms together. Inhale, come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Let's relax. Let's all sit down. I just want to point out a few things to our uh, viewers. When we did the Yoga Express twist, we were trying to include one extra set of muscles, we're trying to stretch the obliques, right? And the sides good. of our waist. Yeah. It feels yeah, wonderful. Yeah. And the reason it feels good, every time we twist the upper and lower body in opposite directions, what we're doing is we're depriving that part of the body of oxygen and fresh blood for just a few seconds, and then fresh blood rushes in when you untwist. So you have fresh blood, fresh oxygen rushing in 
to energize and rejuvenate your glands and organs. And that's why we feel so good at the end of it. The other thing too to remember actually is Yoga Express, um, the sun salutation itself is a complete sequence. It's like a dance motion. So we can actually go one after the other. It just transitions well. And each posture addresses one ailment. For instance, you have Hasta Uttana. Mm -hmm. So you actually open up your chest. That's great for enhancing lung capacity. It's great for helping prevent asthma. You have Namaskar Asana. When you close your eyes, it calms the mind for hypertension. You fold over, Pada Hasta, hands to feet you're actually pressing the lower abdomen on the upper thigh, and that helps massage the large mm -hmm. intestine. It's great for helping prevent constipation. Each ailment addresses a different region of the body. When we do Ashwa Santala with a knee to the front, you're bending and unbending the knee, so you're helping create synovial fluid. So basically, if you're able to take in three or four, maybe 10 if you can, 10 sun salutations every day, one minute for one round, 10 minutes a day, that's all we really need to help prevent everyday ailments. Do we have 10 minutes to spare for our good health? Of course. Absolutely. Yeah. Feedback, how do you feel? I feel great. I feels feel wonderful, great right? Too. I was sleepy, but now I'm up. <laughs> <I'm serious. laughs> you release the tension, right, when you do those exercises. When you do the stretches, right? and that's what's happening. When you're stretching, every time we stretch, we're releasing something called endorphins, yeah. all those feel-good juices. Because in yoga, you stretch the tendons. You yeah. don't just stretch the muscles on the mm -hmm. outside. It's one of the stress relief. It's a great stress relief, right. Stress relief. And when you release endorphins, you get a high. So if you can get a healthful high, without having to put anything into your body with no chemicals, yes. why not? It'll help inspire you when you're writing too. Yeah. And when you're acting. So you do yeah. a few yoga stretches and you can get into any role you want. Yeah, yeah. Josie, and you've been back with us after a long time. I know you've been stretching at home, but how does it feel to be back here? Great. Love Feels it. good, right? Yes. <laughs> so you're not going to direct for us anymore? Oh. You will help us, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> we don't want to lose you. But it's wonderful to have... Too. I enjoy doing it. No, it is, it's really amazing that we all feel so good about this at the end of it. We're going bar hopping. Thank you so much.